Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to share some very fundamental concepts around web scrapping and this particular concept might be helpful for you if you are working in data engineering world then sometime we get the requirement to extract the data from some website and all so that time this fundamental concept might help you also recently i explored this particular section of our data engineering world and some really interesting concepts i learned so i just thought to share with you in using this particular video okay so what we are going to basically implement in this video is how to fetch the data whatever we can see in google chrome whenever we enter in some website and provide some options then whatever data we get in google chrome that same data if i want to fetch using python as an http request using request module how to do that on that i'm going to discuss some concepts okay so it is part of web scrapping where we scrap the data from the website and utilize that in our data pipeline right so let me first show you so here we are having one web portal here we can put some search and then we can put some values here here there are some other options and there are some risk factor something is there this is totally related to medical insurance world for this company episodes so here maybe suppose i am searching skin okay when i'm searching skin with all other these kind of filters it is giving me some set of result right so this table how it is fetching so obviously the front end system is fetching the table from some back end database that can be some search system like elastic search or open search or maybe algolia something like that the front end is connecting with that back end system and fetching the data so if we want to get that same data using python by providing this kind of filter condition then all we need is that back end api where this front end is hitting to fetch the data right that way we can regenerate the same outcome whatever our google chrome is generating that same thing we can generate using python right so i hope the problem statement is very much clear to you that is how to get the data by replicating the google chrome functionality using http request in python okay that's what we are going to explore so here for that we should have some primary concept and all i am explaining is very foundation level concept around web scrapping so what you can do to understand more about the api what this front end is hitting to fetch this kind of data you can right click on anywhere in this website and then you will be getting an option of inspect click on that and here you will be getting multiple tabs here there is an option called network so this network feature of google chrome basically tracks all the network activities whatever is happening in this website okay so whenever we are typing something it might be hitting some back end api so that is nothing but a network activity right so these things should be captured in this network tab so we can click on that and when we are clicking that time here we can get something so maybe for example i can type something like hand okay so when we are typing hand with these properties here some set of information we are getting and then here see there are some search results are coming up so if you just click on this particular search result here you will be getting all the details what our front end system is basically requesting to the api using which it is extracting this data okay so here you can see the request url and here it is giving the url so this url now we can utilize in our python request module to regenerate the same data but instead of using google chrome we can only use normal native python okay so here request method is post request it is understandable because here we have kept some filter condition so from the front end system this payload we are sending to the back end and then we are fetching the corresponding data so it is obvious it is a post request then status code 200 and then here request header all this information you will be getting if you go to the payload section here you can see the filter conditions whatever we have applied here like in the search field we have kept hand right so here hand is coming i can just zoom a little bit this particular section or easy of visibility here you can see search part is hand then drf is cna so here maybe drf is nothing but maybe this particular column so here we are choosing community non-dual so that time it is taking cna like that some parameters it is taking maybe this kind of drop down list it is mapping to this kind of values and then dos here so dos here here we have chosen v24 in 2022 so here it is taking like this way 
and then here dx or hcc it is taking dx because here in this filter in between dx and hcc we have configured dx so that's why it has taken here like that so this is our payload what we are sending from front end to our back end system it is making a post request to this particular api and obviously it is ha having some request header particular format and it is able to help us with the data so now all we can do extract all this information and using our python rest api to extract the same set of data using python programming right so for that what you can do just close this here we are having our search just click on that and here you will be getting a copy option okay and here you will be getting the option copy as c url bash so i can copy this particular one and now here i am going to my postman i can click on a new tab and here you will be getting an option of import okay so i will click on that and here it is asking paste the c url so all i can do is paste that c url and immediately here our postman system has mapped all the data in proper places like the main api endpoint is this one right hccreference.com slash api slash search whatever we were visualizing here okay then here if you go to the header section here lot of headers it has mentioned then in the body part here in body part what it has mentioned it is basically mentioning the filter criteria whatever we have provided from here from this drop down or the search tab right so that same thing here it has taken and then we can make a send request to visualize the data and here you can easily see that we are able to get the same data like here you can see the code is starting from m868x4 and here if you go m868x4 and then here some this kind of description is there hcc39 and all this information here if you see that same information it is coming hcc code is hcc39 right so using postman we are able to replicate that now from postman itself we can generate the python code so how to do that here you can see there is a code block so just click on that and here you will be getting lot of different language related code so in our case our point of interest is python i will choose the python code and here it has given us the code i can just copy this particular code i can paste the same code in some code editor like here google collab i am using and all i can do i can run this code okay let's see whether it is giving correct result or not So here you can see code M8684, then this particular thing and then HCC39, same thing it returned as output, okay. So using this particular very simple HTTP request and with the help of network feature of Google Chrome, we are able to replicate the same thing in our Python code. Let me show you another example. Let me close that network tab and then here I am searching with some particular code. Here it is throwing only one result. So what I can do? I can maybe take the same input and let's test in python whether it is giving the same result or not okay so f1827 in this search tab I will just update so here if you see this is our payload column right so here earlier we searched with hand now this time we are searching with this one and it should give the same result what our google chrome is giving here if you see f1827 only one particular row is there hcc code if you observe here hcc54 here if you go to this tab hcc54 only RAF is 0.275 here also somewhere you will see the RAF is 0.275 okay and the description is also same I can copy this particular one and search in our Google Chrome you can see it is exactly matching right so using very simple network feature of Google Chrome you can scrap the data from website using request module you can just hit that particular endpoint whatever our front end actually hitting in the back end system and then fetch the data using python right i hope you understood this and i am hoping that this particular concept someday will help you in your project also so if you find this particular concept interesting then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos Thank you for watching.